Hello everyone, um, Mr. Victor here, and this is your Science Student Solutions. We bring to you a very important topic today to be considered by all science students, and um, it was actually based on demand. And uh, that topic is a continuation of the RNA stereoverses that we talked about in one of our previous videos. Remember, we last talked about acids and bases. And in that topic, we consider the Arrhenius theory of the acids and bases. Today, we'll be looking at yet another theory of the acids and bases, and that is the one stated by Bronsted and Lowry, Johannes Bronsted and Thomas Lowry. We want to see how they actually define an acid and a base as. So let's get on to it. Now, Bronsted and Lowry what we'll refer to them as BL for short, based on what we want to discuss this evening. Uh, talked about acids and bases, and they came up with a very interesting concept, one that went beyond the limitations of Arrhenius. Arrhenius said that an acid is a substance that liberates hydrogen ions or hydronium ions when dissolved in water. So Arrhenius' theory of acids and bases actually uh, was narrowed down to uh, was limited to substances being dissolved in water. But Bronsted and Lowry goes beyond that. They define an acid as a substance that donates protons, while a base is a substance that accepts protons. See? An acid is a substance that donates protons. Protons are also known as hydrogen ions, while a base is a substance that accepts protons. And if you take careful consideration of that definition, of those definitions of acids and bases, you will see there that the theory is not just limited to dissolving a substance in water and protons are being released. Anything here can serve as an acid as long as it donates protons, and anything can serve as a base as long as it accepts protons. So we're going to take a very quick example of this to show what uh, Bronson and Lowry were talking about. I'm going to take an example of PCL reacting with H2O, water, as it is with it, to give us H3O plus plus Cl minus. Now, if you look carefully at this equation, you would notice one thing. We want to identify which is the acid and which is the base in this uh, equation. So I'm just going to split this here in this manner to show the bonds holding the hydrogen and chlorine atom together. And I'll split water in this manner. Okay. And so what happens here is very simple. As you get to see, the oxygen atom in water, or water itself, is able to draw out the hydrogen ion from hydrochloric acid or from hydrogen chloride there so that you're not going to be having H3O in this regard and then you're left with chlorine or chloride in that manner an extra electron which goes towards the chlorine so I'm going to be explaining all of this in subsequent videos how bonds are breaking and new bonds are forming as time goes on. But what you're seeing in this equation is a clear indication that the hydrogen has left hydrogen chloride to water, meaning that hydrogen chloride has been able to donate hydrogen to water. And so you have hydronium ions being formed here. And then you're left with this bond becoming an extra electron on the chlorine atom. So from the definition of our, our Bronsted and Lowry acid, the BL acid, HCl here will serve as the acid because it is donating the hydrogen ion, while water will serve as the base because it is accepting the hydrogen ion to itself to form the hydronium ion. So, we take yet another example of uh, a BL acids and bases. Initially, 
We saw hydrogen chloride behaving as an acid in donating hydrogen in the previous example. And water are there behaving as a base, accepting the hydrogen ion from hydro uh, hydrogen chloride to give you a hydronium ion. And the second example goes like this. We take ammonia, which is NH3, reacting with water and gives us NH4 plus and uh, OH minus. So if you look carefully at this reaction, you will see that NH3 has become NH4 plus. Well, in your mind's eye, you could presume rightly actually that uh, ammonia has accepted a hydrogen ion from water so that it, can, it has now become NH4. On the other hand, you would also say, or presume rightly, that H2O has become OH because it has lost the hydrogen ion or it has given out the hydrogen ion to ammonia. Let's see for sure how all of this happened. So I'm still going to split ammonia in this way. And water will have this form. So for the sake of what we're doing, this is how ammonia look like breaking it down skeletally. More of this in subsequent videos as to how bonds have been formed in this manner. And uh, that is water as if it's made you. Now ammonia will take the hydrogen atom to itself from water and then you are left with OH. This bond becomes an extra electron and no oxygen. So you may be wondering how come that bond is coming towards the oxygen? I'm going to explain all of that like I said earlier in subsequent videos there is a rule for bond breakage what we call bond cleavages you know so bonds become extra electrons because actually electrons are required for chemical reactions and uh, electrons are what form bonds among atoms okay so this is how you have it at the end of the day the extra hydrogen there still in ammonia so looking at something like this the plus the plus there represents the proton that has been uh, abstracted from the water and moved towards ammonia so your OH is stands okay so from this example you would see here that because ammonia is accepting the hydrogen from water as the hydrogen ion from water Ammonia is to serve as a base. On the other hand, because the water is losing or donating hydrogen to ammonia, it is serving as an acid. You could take note that in the previous example we showed between HCl and water, water was serving as a base. But in this case, water is serving as an acid. That is to tell you something. Water is amphoteric. Water is amphoteric in the sense that it can serve as an acid or it can serve as a base depending on the condition that you place it. Now, I would advise that you take in more examples for yourselves from your chemistry textbooks, follow these simple steps so you can be able to identify a BL acid or a BL base in case you are asked the question from any where uh, they come from. Okay, if you have problems Feel free to call me on the lines I have placed in previous videos.